Okay, so we've got a uh, semi-auto FAMAS here with both butts, one with a uh, with a buffer and one without. So we're going to see if there's any difference. So this one does or doesn't have the buffer? It does not. This is the uh, MAS 223, so yep. we have the buffer space, but no buffer. Okay, behind the camera is the gentleman behind the channel, Helvetic Arms Switzerland. I'll link to him in the description, so please hit him up. With third shot at this distance, you cannot miss. Aside from the fact that I had to crane my head to get down, now, now this has a bigger, a bigger aperture than she Exactly, so the full auto FAMAS, the military version, actually has a different sight setting and they actually even have different, uh, here if we can see, there's different uh, increments of uh, meters. Okay. The full auto FAMAS has a different, I don't recall, but I think this one has a farther setting than the... Uh, this is better one. than the military one, by okay. miles. So let us just unload this and change the... Uh, I'll take the camera off you, and you can uh, do the mechanics. Yes. Sounds good. Yeah, that, that's the, the type All right. of gun you can just put in the, uh, side so, of the camera. So, things unloaded. Take this here. <laughs> <laughs> it's very quite simple. Let's put that in here. There goes full GIGN. There we go. <laughs> Internals of a foam loss, everyone. Actually built from the ground up as a bullpup and not converted from a conventional layout. Indeed. And you can really tell. <laughs> Alright, so we got some strange thing going on here. Now you ran remote brutality with, the, with this, which was impressive. Oh. Voila, as they say. Okay, so right. now a military one with the buffer. <laughs> I've still got somebody All wanting right. to try the canal. So here we can see the holes for the actual buffer in here, which doesn't yeah, have on semi auto. There is a difference, but it's minor. I think if you'd done a blind taste test on it, eight out of ten cats couldn't tell the difference. Shooting them next to each other, yes, it's a little softer, but not really enough to really make me go, wow, what a difference. That's possibly why they left it out in the, uh, in the civilian one. It shoots a little flatter, but just I'm pretty it's not night and day. It's subtle. And yeah, I think on a I think on a blind taste test I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't know. But uh. well, an interesting thing to mention too is that the only reason for this divot here yeah. is for the buffer. And on the civilian version there's nothing in there. Do you think that it still would have sold as well? Well, it didn't sell that well at all in the civilian version, but if it was missing that, would that take away from the iconic look of the FAMAS? It might take away from the iconic and slightly strange look of it, but it would add to the ergonomics. Because the problem is, I can't, I can't shoot this with my normal head position. Because if I just bring this to me, like a normal rifle, whereas I've got to be head down and then that is resting on the back of my ear and I suspect if I was wearing over the ear hearing protection that would be a bit of an ache in the pods to be honest. That's confirmed, I can confirm that. But it, it forces you to crank your head. Yeah. Now what I do like on the FAMAS, that's, that's a great place for a, for a, for a mag release. That's good. Um, it balances where a bullpup should, unlike certain others, should we, should we say. And we're only at, what, 15 meters here, but uh, that's an awful lot of fun, so thank you very much for that.